Hey there! Have you heard the latest buzz about our food options? We're being told that crickets are the new superfood, the solution to our food shortage crisis. But before stocking up on these creepy crawlies, let's look closely. Are we ready to give up our burgers and steaks for a handful of bugs? And who is behind this push to change our diets? The World Economic Forum WEF, wants to force us to eat bugs against our will. See what they are saying. Our consumption of animal protein is the source of greenhouse gas and climate change. Insects are an overlooked source of protein and a way to battle climate change. The consumption of insects can offset climate change in many ways. We've been conditioned to think of animals and plants as our primary sources of proteins, namely meat, dairy, and eggs, or tofu, beans, and nuts. But there's an unsung category of sustainable and nutritious protein that has yet to widely catch on. Insects. Before you say yuck, hear us out. Most of us aren't accustomed to regarding insects as food. But the nutritional difference between sources of protein is relatively small. For instance, plant proteins lack some essential amino acids that animal proteins possess. But the major differences between insect and other sources of protein exist largely in the cultural and environmental realm. This statement from WEF shows how much they want us to eat crickets, terming them as a source of proteins. We cannot and will not agree to be subjected to eating crickets that are dirty, crawls everywhere, and are not meant for food. So you may wonder, how did this whole cricket craze start? Well, Aspire Food Group just opened the largest cricket factory to produce alternative proteins for human consumption in May of 2022. They plan on producing 9,000 metric tons of crickets annually, with around 2 billion bugs dispersed annually in America and Canada. How do they convince us to trade in our traditional protein sources for a handful of bugs? The cricket market is diverse, offering options like whole crickets, cricket powder, and cricket meal. In 2022, the whole crickets category was expected to hold the largest share of the market due to its wide availability, lower cost, and increased demand from protein ingredients and food makers. And let's talk about the labeling too. Cricket products are often labeled dairy-free, non-GMO, paleo-friendly, and gluten-free. Check out these microscopy photos of Entomo Farms Cricket Protein Powder, which is being hailed as the planet's most sustainable superfood. Are you ready to join the cricket craze? Keep watching to learn more and get all the details on this nasty and yuck alleged protein food. Have you heard about Entomo Farms Cricket Protein Powder? It's been dubbed the planet's most sustainable superfood and there are some fantastic microscopy photos of it that you just have to see. Plus, this powder is not just sustainable, it's also dairy-free, non-GMO, paleo-friendly, and gluten-free. If you want to learn more about how this powder is made, just follow the link in the description. Trust me, you won't regret it. As you can see in these packages, there is no warning about chitin, which is harmful to human consumption. What's that smell? Big food corporations are quietly adding crickets and other insects into meal bars, cookies, and snacks. Cheddar cheese puffs by Actually Foods that have recently hit store shelves are being promoted as a healthy and environmentally friendly snack option. And the secret ingredient? Crickets! That's right, these cheese puffs are powdered by crickets and Actually Foods is marketing them as a protein-rich alternative. But here's the thing, while the front of the package might say organic cricket flour in the ingredients list, it's not always so transparent. Brands like Actually Foods are among the most dishonest regarding hiding the facts that they include crickets in their products. And it's not just cheese puffs. There's even a loaf of bread called Cricket Bread, available in the UK from Robert's Bakery. The bread is made with dried, ground-up cricket corpses and is marketed as having a beautiful tasting loaf with a crispy finish. The World Economic Forum globalists driving the cricket drive have also successfully co-opted certain public schools in Wales. 
Look, we all should be worried about the availability of meat because of the issue of affordability. If the prices of traditional meats like chicken, beef, and eggs go up, it could become difficult for people to access these sources of protein. And if the trends towards eating crickets continues, there may come a time when meat and other proteins simply aren't available on the market. And why are we even being told to eat crickets when there are so many other sources of protein out there? It just seems awkward. In France, there's been some pushback against this trend, with right-wing politician Laurent Deplomme speaking out against the EU's decision to promote cricket consumption. He argues that the French shouldn't be forced to eat insects without their knowledge. The World Economic Forum's global elitists, led by Klaus Schwab, argue that we all must start eating bugs to save the planet. But who are they referring to when they say, we all? It's not the global elitists themselves who will be eating crickets, it's the ordinary people. The UN World Population Prospect Report of 2022 predicts that by 2050, the world's population is expected to reach 10 billion, and we'll all be eating insects as a food source. But this prediction is based on nothing more than statistical manipulation and a dystopian vision of the future. The reality is that the world's population is facing a collapse due to the continuous drop in worldwide fertility and birth rates. Teaser, you could cook a steak dinner and tell Klaus Schwab and his pals to stop being annoying. Governments are pushing us to eat crickets and mealworms to save the planet, but this may not be the solution we need. Despite the belief that nitrogen is harmful, carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. Regarding protein sources, animal meat remains the most popular and widely consumed option. Eating crickets is still considered a niche market and not a suitable replacement. In a recent interview with Tucker Carlson, Dr. Mark Siegel stated, No, we won't be giving up cows to eat crickets. Potential health risks associated with eating crickets include inflammation and allergic reactions due to the exoskeleton, made of chitin, which our bodies can't produce. This can lead to tissue damage and deficiencies in essential vitamins like A and E. Additionally, there's a risk of exposure to harmful parasites, with research indicating that eating insects can expose you to these dangers 30% of the time. We're all being urged to eat crickets and mealworms to save the planet as governments ruin the meat supply chain because they think nitrogen is terrible. These countries still think carbon dioxide is a pollutant, despite being essential for photosynthesis. I don't think eating crickets is an excellent option to replace protein sources like meat. However, using crickets as a food source is still in its infancy and should not be seen as a substitute for conventional meat. Meat from animals is still the most common source of protein worldwide, and eating crickets is still relegated to a niche market, and people should be discouraged from eating them. Crickets are reputed to have a flavor that is a little nutty and earthy, which is off-putting to those with more refined tastes. The taste is a product of their nutrition and their upbringing. Many Western societies do not have a long history of eating insects, and some people may even have a solid psychological aversion to eating insects. The stigma attached to crickets as a weird food source might deter some consumers from trying them. Concerns have been made about the cleanliness of cricket farms and processing facilities. Aversion to the flavor results from their fears of sickness or contamination from eating insects. Another potential problem is that some individuals may find crickets unpleasant because of how they look when eaten. For individuals who aren't accustomed to eating insects, the sight of a complete bug becomes repulsive. Well, to avoid eating crickets, we should start by being mindful of what you eat and where you get your food from. Even while entomophagy, or the consumption of insects, is on the rise, many people still only turn to it as a last choice when supplies of other foods run low. Adopting measures that increase resilience to food shortages is crucial to avoid this predicament. Here are some ways to prevent you from eating crickets when hunger strikes. Think ahead. If you want to make sure that you always have something to eat in case of an emergency, it's a good idea to have a supply of non-perishable foods on hand, such as canned goods, rice, pasta, and beans. If you want your food to survive as long as possible, store it in airtight containers and put it in an excellent dry spot. Something like a basement or pantry works well. Did you know that before fridges were known, people didn't have any problems with food storage and preservation? But now, it seems like we've forgotten this valuable knowledge. 
Want to avoid food waste and make sure your food lasts as long as possible? Store it in airtight containers in a dry place like a basement or pantry. In Daily Monitor, Sarah Akin Kabisi wrote, Before the advent of fridges at home, food storage and preservation was not a problem, but we have kind of forgotten this invaluable knowledge. You can also reduce food waste by mastering canning, drying, and freezing techniques and using these methods properly. Want to grow your own food? Consider starting a garden. Not only is it a fulfilling activity, but you'll also have access to fresh and healthy produce. Support local farmers and participate in community initiatives like a food co-op or community garden to gain access to nutritious, locally sourced food. When dining out, be cautious about what you're eating. Read the labels, ask your server about the ingredients in your meal, and only dine at places you trust. And if you're worried about eating crickets, opt for salads or grilled meals. Want more control over what you eat? Try making your own meals and choose the ingredients that work best for you. Acquire some knowledge. Investigate the traditional and cultural dishes from throughout the globe, including crickets. With this information, you'll be better able to plan your meals while traveling. Don't take a vacation from food safety rules. Fish, shellfish, meat, and eggs are still unsafe to eat when raw, even at a fancy hotel. If you enjoyed this video about Let Us Eat Crickets, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too.